Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. As usual, this morning we'll be covering exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Okay, we'll get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. I am happy to report that U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 1.08%, S&P 500 futures up 1.42%, and NASDAQ futures up 1.86%. The Federal Open Market Committee will be concluding their two-day meeting today and will be expecting a statement from Fed Chair Jerome Powell later on. Retail giant Walmart has inked a deal to invest in an indoor vertical farming company called Plenty Unlimited. Walmart becomes the first big U.S. retailer to invest in vertical farming to enhance access to high-quality fresh produce for its customers at retail stores. Plenty's indoor farming tech delivers pesticide-free fresh fruits, greens, and vegetables, keeping items fresher for longer in 100% recyclable product packaging. Using a combination of engineering, software, and sustainable crop science to grow multiple crops on a single platform, the company's indoor farming architecture is far different from its greenhouse and other indoor farming peers. The Walmart stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 24%. Our very own YouTube here is one of the latest big name brands to take note of the NFT craze. The company is contemplating adding NFT features to enhance the connectivity between creators and their viewers. YouTube's CEO has confirmed plans to add NFT features to enhance innovation on the platform. They expect the integration of NFT features to help strengthen and enhance the experiences of content creators and fans on the platform. The executive was yet to confirm what exactly they intend to do, but it does mark the first time that Alphabet, the parent company of Google and YouTube, has confirmed its interest in cryptocurrency collectibles. The Google stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 34%. Coca-Cola has teamed up with Molson Coors on another line of flavored alcohol drinks. They plan to launch Simply Spiked Lemonade in the U.S. this coming summer. The Simply Spiked Lemonade will be offered in four different flavors and available in a variety pack of 12-ounce cans or standalone 24-ounce cans. In 2021, Coca-Cola first teamed up with Molson Coors to launch Topo Chico Hard Seltzer, which recently began rolling out nationally. Motivated by its success, the companies have launched an extended line under the same brand. They have a huge opportunity now to leverage the power of Simply. The Coca-Cola stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside just shy of 7%. And WeWork has come to an agreement to acquire flexible workspace provider Common Desk. Founded in 2010, WeWork creates remote environments that allow people and companies to work together. This acquisition underscores WeWork's cost-efficient strategic growth plan and is also expected to strengthen its footprint in the flexible workspace market, with Common Desk already serving 4,000 customers. Common Desk will join WeWork, having established itself as a premier flex space provider. The two intend to work together by creating meaningful communities through member-focused hospitality. The WeWork stock currently just has one buy rating from analysts with no price target. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, a lot of attention will be focused on Tesla and their earnings report coming up. We'll also be hearing from big names like Intel, Lamb Research, Levi Strauss, and Las Vegas Sands. Last night, we heard from Microsoft, who came in with strong results for their fiscal second quarter. They showed particular strength in their cloud, gaming, and Windows software segments. They reported adjusted earnings of $2.48 per share, which was up 22% year-over-year and comfortably beat the street's estimates of $2.31 per share. Their revenue advanced 20% to $51.7 billion, again surpassing analyst expectations. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of about 30%. Already in the pre-market this morning, we heard from AT&T, who came in ahead of analyst expectations for earnings and revenue, but did provide slightly lower future guidance than expected. 
For their fourth quarter, they had earnings of $0.78 cents per share on revenue of $41 billion. The consensus estimate was $0.76 cents per share on $40.7 billion. Their revenue did fall over 10% compared to the same quarter a year ago. For 2022 earnings, they're forecasting $3.10 to $3.15 below the earnings estimate of $3.22. They're currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 13%. Also in the pre-market this morning, coming in with a much wider loss than expected was Boeing. For Boeing's fourth quarter, they reported a loss of $7.69 per share, when the consensus estimate was for a loss of just $0.09. Cents. Boeing took a $3.5 billion pre-tax charge on its 787 Dreamliners after production issues prevented the company from delivering the planes. They did say on a positive note that they generated positive cash flow in the fourth quarter, hitting that key milestone earlier than they anticipated. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 31%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by TG Therapeutics. Trading under the ticker TGTX, their stock is up over 12%. They're followed by Amplitude under the ticker AMPL, their stock is up 10.6%. And Car Gurus under the ticker CARG, their stock is up 10%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by F5 Networks. Under the ticker FFIV, they're currently down over 13%. Followed by Navient under the ticker NAVI, they're down 13%. And Ionis Pharmaceuticals under the ticker IONS, down over 6%. So that is going to be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.